The same powerful vacuums used for emergency response work can also be found sucking rocks on construction sites. What these contractors are doing is they're using a hurricane vacuum to remove the rock that is on this roof deck. The reason that rock is down here is to hold the roof down um, in wind. Before the, the roof can be replaced or repaired, this rock has to be removed. To manually remove these stones from an area this large would take days. A vacuum can do the job in a fraction of that time while eliminating the backbreaking labor. This rock that they're removing today is quite heavy. It takes a very powerful vacuum to move it the distances they are. You can imagine trying to pick this up with your shop vacuum at home. It probably wouldn't even move it. The contractors rely on the hurricane vacuum to suction these stones through tubes to their truck below. The hurricane vacuums, the way they work is the material is pulled through the line and it enters the vacuum and goes into a cyclone separator where the material spins and then drops into the collection cone. The air and the dust that pulls this material in there go up through the filter bags which are in the top of the cyclone separator. That air gets filtered out through 37 filter bags and then the air passes down through another set of filters and then through the vacuum pump and then out to atmosphere. Large vacuums like the Hurricane can move up to 4,500 cubic feet of air per minute. This is the diesel engine on our Hurricane vacuum. This is a 250 horsepower. We build from 170 to 500 horsepower. It's a turbocharged diesel, fuel injected, tier two engine. A large engine can generate enough airflow to lift a four pound stone 100 feet vertically. That's 115 times the lift of a typical home vacuum. The farther out a, a contractor uh, runs his vacuum line, we'll reduce the uh, suction at the end of the line. The vacuums are very efficient up to about three, 400 feet. If they go out farther than that, it will still pull the material. It's just going to be a little bit slower. Big suckers like these are manufactured in Exonia, Wisconsin. When building these vacuums, we start with raw product. We build the trailer frame or the skid, depending on which it is. They, they set on the motor or the diesel engine, set the blowers on, the bag house and then they get into the, the electrical, the hydraulics, and, and after that, they put the wheels on, take it to paint, and it's a hurricane vacuum. A 70-pound I-beam doesn't pose a challenge for the hurricane. A 16-pound bowling ball, no sweat. In fact, the hurricane could lift 24 of them at once. To show the real strength of this vacuum, we're gonna implode a 55-gallon steel drum. Want to see it again?